Hello, this is Rachel 101. This is take three on the new camera. So hopefully I've got the light a bit better. But this is looking a bit yellow on my last videos. Hopefully this is looking more sort of whitish and more true to colour. So going straight into it, I've got a collective haul um, of odd lengths that I've got. I've pulled up the last two months, um, but I haven't bought, say, a couple of items from the shop. Um, so sort of didn't end up putting it into a haul and then thought, actually to me it's really nice it'd be good to kind of put them in a collective haul. So as I've been I've been to college for gosh how long is it now? It's about a month and a half. So I've got had stuck on a few bits um for sort of more casual day wear as opposed to my sort of work day wear to have my work and I go to college like a couple of months a year. So first thing first, handbag. And uh, this is, I think, probably my best bargain. This is from Primark, which you believe, and it was £7. And everyone I tell that is like, you are kidding me. The only thing that gives it away is it's plain on the back and sort of um, quilted on the front. But also, as I've had this, the back, that if you can tell, is it's got a slightly sort of darker brown bit, where it's got like worn, which is exactly what happened, exactly what happened to real leather. So although it's obviously not real leather, I think it's a really, really good imitation and looks really, really nice. So yeah, definitely recommend that. I say I've got these all the last two months. So hopefully the product that the other product stuff I got yesterday. So hopefully that will still be in store. This jacket is from New Look. I've already worn it, cut the price tag out. How beautiful is this? My first thing to say was I was getting it went in the sale. Um, literally two days after I bought it, but not in this colour, I understand. And it's £34.99. It's a lot, it's like a boyfriend fit, so it's sort of like um, a longer length, you get the idea of like where the um, yeah, the label lapel goes. And I wore this with um, a Forever 21 dress I had in, when did I get that? I think it's about July time. It's in my video with the most views. <laughs> oh, Forever 21. And it looks so nice together because it's got kind of like a maroon fleck in it. So that was really cool. Loved wearing that. It just felt really expensive. And yeah, it's one of my favourite pieces. Now to know it's just on the floor. And this next one, I got this from Topshop and they had that 20% off student discount. And I saw it and thought like, oh, I really need like a new black dress for work. Um, as my old one, it's like, I got it on eBay. It's kind of weird, but it's sort of, on the back you get like one slit it's got two and like if you don't sort of put it down enough it can be a bit dodgy so <laughs> i thought i need a new black dress but i've seen this one on on ebay and it doesn't look as nice on as i thought it would but i haven't tried it on but this was it was quite expensive as well it's sort of making me think it's 46 pounds but i say i got 20 percent off so i think it took that down to about 33 something and Maths is terrible, and now as this is black, it is not coarse, it's not going to show any detail. That's very side, you can see like it's got a load of folds in it, and then the back it says just sort of play with it all the way down the back. But who knows the black didn't show up? Is that a lot of my stuff is that? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that one. I got that in a 10, so I'll let you know if I hold on to that, I'll take that one back. And then this dress, oh my goodness, I was talking about this in my blog, about the, um, now I'm going to pronounce this terribly wrong, Roxanda Ilinsic? Sorry if I totally butchered that. That's back to front. <laughs> um, at, for Debenhams. And I saw this online, I really wanted it for a wedding, but it arrived two days too late. But I still had on to it because I was like, it's so lovely. And, um, yeah, it's just so pretty, like it's got kind of like a nod to the kind of sort of fetishy theme, the little black bow, black zip on the sort of um kind of colour. It's definitely a minky colour. It looked lilac on their website, but it's definitely a minky colour. But it's so beautiful. It was quite expensive, but I say she's a designer, her dresses go for hundreds if not thousands, so it was eighty-five pounds. I say like for a wedding, that's cheaper than French Connection. It's still like a really good price. I got that one in an eight. This one, oh my gosh, I love this dress so much. 
Like a funny story, I saw this in Primark on the day before it was on Gox Fashion Fix. So I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's really nice, but when would I ever wear it? Like, it's not very practical with the colours and you know, I'll be good, I won't buy it. I saw it on Gox Show the next day and saying, oh, it's the best find of my career. Gutted, I was absolutely gutted because I thought it was going to be sold out. Oh my goodness, I didn't try it on, I was just saying, like, wouldn't look like on a hanger. And then I ran in literally like on lunch, ran to get it. And um, found it, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. And then I don't know if it's showing slightly, but a pleat detail on the skirt. And then it's sort of like a, a cream that's, so it's exactly true to life colouring, like a red and then sort of like a minky colour with a black. And it was only £23. Brilliant. And he paired it with like um Neg or Bez Back as well. I think that's really nice to be put in there. Um he paired it with navy blue knee high socks. But I saw a girl wearing this um in the block where my college is, it's like got um sort of like offices as well, and this girl was wearing it and she was wearing a black tights and like a low black heel and it was so nice. It was really chuffed. But it did come up really small. So I normally an 8 in Primark and that was a 10. Well, I would highly, highly recommend that one. So then, the bit I got yesterday. This one, I was going to take this back yesterday, but ran out of time. So I'll show you guys anyway. Which was, I ordered this from H&M and stuff with H&M, if it doesn't arrive, um, what do I see? Um, if it doesn't arrive, then you get like, it just says, oh, we'll send it to you this month, send it to you that month. And I ordered this, no joke, in July. And this last bit arrived this week. Absolutely crazy. Because by this time, I've already found another item to replace it. And um, this one's actually faulty, which I'm really annoyed about, especially since it's waiting for July for it. But it's from H&M. And it's just like a plain, long sleeve, like a minky grey. Uh, jumper with little buttons at the back. I thought that was really pretty. But it's got on the join, it's got a little hole in it right in the front. That's going to really annoy me. Um, excuse me, I've got it in a size small um, because in the castle it looked like it came up really small. I didn't want it skin tight, but it's actually pretty baggy. So yeah, that one's definitely going back. But it takes a really nice jumper, but yeah, I'd say go down. Go down the size and it depends what you need to get. Then in Top Shop, I looked at their sale. Like one thing in the sale and one thing not in the sale. This belt, I've been looking for something like this for so long. I hope that's gonna show up. It's like a beautiful, like it's looking silver, but it's actually more, it's a gold colour. Um, there we go, that's more like the actual colour. Uh, it's a gold, of antique gold, and this was £18, so I got a student discount off this one. And this is a size small. So I saw it with them, um, like a very skater dresses, and it was that. And the French Connection dress I bought in the summer to wear to a wedding, I had a gold belt that was like, um, just like a pale, sort of like a flat one with a buckle. And I really wanted something like this, so I thought next time I wear it, I'd wear this with it, and it looked beautiful. It was really, really chuffed with that. I think Top Shop do really great belts. And then, and you know, they put that in the bag of this and it's some slight pull on it. So hopefully I can rescue it. This jumper, now this is going to be a love it or hate it piece. When I saw it in the hanger, my friend was like, mm, that's a short. When I tried it on, it's like, oh yeah, we like that. And it was really reduced as well. It was £40 full price, got down to 25 and then I got a student discount on top of that. The beautiful jumper with so much knitwork gone into this. You can see, like I say, it's really holy, and so consequently, you have to wear a jumper, um, jumper like a vest up underneath. And so, some bits are a bit loopy, but on it kind of all evens out. That is so nice, and then so the back is exactly the same. Yeah, absolutely love that. I think that looks really expensive. Um, this was a size medium. I kind of liked it that little bit oversized. So yay, I think that's my best sale buy, definitely. I wouldn't have paid £40 for it. I suppose we want 30, 60 discount. But yeah, for 25 less discount, brilliant. Really like that. And onto Primark. And again, it's a great good bag. 
as big as my face. <laughs> Pretty big actually. So, right, I'll try and use that quickly because I'm trying to get it. What do you want to see? Oh my gosh, after 10 minutes. I took it really fast, it's still 10 minutes. For a present, I thought this was gorgeous. Really, really nice. I say same front and back. And this was £5 from Prime. These are bits of all Primark, the last bits. Then I got these shoes and I checked up the stairs and um, they split and I'm so disappointed. But, yay, got another pair. So useful, I wear them all the time. They've actually changed the sole on it. You can say that, that it split there and I checked up, so it must have happened to say some other people and they've kind of reinvented them. So they were eight pounds, weird. Then I got some pajamas. I got another set of pajamas, but they're in the wash at the moment for my other Primark trip. I'll do them in my next haul. And this was five pounds in size eight to ten. The top. It's a lovely, like Christmassy red. Really, really useful. It's coming up so it's a little bit brighter than it's coming up on the screen. I've got the colour system the wrong way. <laughs> it's washing me out. <laughs> Uh, to go with these pyjama bottoms, which were also £5. Absolutely gorgeous. Like, that sort of fabric. Totally, like, Jack Wills worthy. Love it. Really, really nice. Then, last but, oh, two, three more things. Go through these quickly. One boring item of Rolly. <laughs> this was £4. It's really kind of flat, so it will fit into like an evening handbag. So I got caught in the rain at the weekend. I was not impressed. Completely ruined my hair. <laughs> and something this was quite interesting. It's Nivea, a branded product. I haven't seen any branded products in uh, Primark before. And this was five pounds, which I don't know. It doesn't sound like really really cheap, but um, just the fact they started doing brand products, something to watch out for for Christmas. Um, brilliant. And then last but not least, oh, it's trendy. I haven't tried this one on, so I really hope this fits, because they only had it in a size 12. It's 10 pounds, it's called Colour Ivory, and it's like a really white, white colour. Uh, I don't know why I'm having issues with this. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it, this will go funny. It's like a pretty bow blouse, like slightly longer at the back than the front. With the uh, sort of gathered sleeve that hasn't got a button on it, it's kind of so stitched down, and then a tie at the front. It's a lovely material, and I think it just—it's totally secret, obviously. <laughs> but I think it looks really expensive because it's like a really crisp white. So I really hope that fits, and I think I'd wear that with say like um, what's it called, like peg leg trousers. I've got a brown pair and a black pair, so I'm really looking forward to wearing that. Fabulous. Oh yeah, I'll try that one on and let you know how that comes up. And oh my god, it's 13 minutes. How did this happen? I'm talking so fast. <laughs> but hello to everybody, hello to my new subscribers, hello to my loyal existing subscribers. Um can't believe say how many people subscribe. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, it's free, please click. <laughs> oh, so it means a lot. And um thanks to everyone who's checked out my blog as well. That's been really cool. Um I updated that yesterday. <laughs> um, so yay, thanks ever so much for watching, I'll see you guys soon.